cancer is directly associated with aging population. As we get older, our body seems less able to prevent cancer from, from developing. And virtually all countries are experiencing uh, an aging uh, because of better health. Now, that, that makes this uh, cancer as a part of the health problems that we contend with growing in, in size. Uh, nutrition is an important part. Um, preventive health in various, sort, uh, various ways are, are helpful or important. But uh, cancer itself is really becoming quite a serious issue. The epigenetics, or this new area of, of um, discovering the expression of our genes, suggests that there are some very important agents or epigenetic factors that might have a role in preventing disease in general, and specifically cancer. And tocotrienols have really come to the fore as a, an agent that might be quite important in preventing cancer. It's also been shown to be helpful in preventing uh, other problems, aging, and uh, inflammatory diseases and the vascular disease, as we've seen in the stroke study. So we're looking at, at tocotrienols as, as one of those epigenetic factors, as we understand epigenetics better, that could be very important in preventing and, and uh, modifying cancer. My own experience with tocotrienols uh, really is uh, quite a surprise because um, I was diagnosed with uh, follicular non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in July of 2013. And the standard treatment for that kind of tumor is just to watch and wait until it becomes symptomatic, until it begins to invade a tissue or an organ or upset your quality of life. Now, I went for almost a year with this not being treated, but just watching and waiting. And uh, coincidentally, a, a year after I had started, uh, or I had been diagnosed, I started taking tocotrienols because of this new study of tocotrienols and brain health, the white matter lesion study. I did not start them because of my uh, tumor diagnosis. At the same time I was about to start the tocotrienols, I had a follow-up CT scan of my tumor, and it showed it was growing considerably. And so I was making plans then, uh, within the next few months, to start chemotherapy uh, as, as a next step in treating the, the cancer. Well, about two or three months went by, and it was time for me to start chemo, and I said, gee, I feel pretty good. I don't think I'm going to start I, I actually would rather wait until after flu season in Minnesota because I didn't want to increase my risk of getting infections from flu. So my oncologist and I agreed we'll wait until spring before starting any uh, chemotherapy. Well, when spring came around, it was um, decided, okay, we'll get baseline studies, new CAT scans of the tumor, which had shown quite a bit of growth from year one to year two. This is now uh, after two years when I'm having this next study in May of 2015. And to my great surprise, that CT scan showed almost complete resolution of the cancer. Uh, and it had been present in multiple lymph nodes in my chest. They were basically uh, shrunk down to normal size or completely gone. And as I mentioned in my presentation, I had not been very good about my own lifestyle. I had not had good sleep, good exercise, good diet, all of the things that you should do. The only thing that I did in that whole year that I could say was therapeutic was take tocotrienols. So it led me to conclude that the tocotrienols were the main reason why I had such a nice response uh, when actually the tumor prior to taking tocotrienols was showing signs of growing and making me more fatigued and, and have symptoms like that.